I'm Sweet Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And today I'm going to be unboxing lots of baby Sylvanian family sets. I've bought these over the last few months and have saved them to open them all at once in this video. There's lots to get through, so I'll get on with opening some. First, let's look at these sheep babies. This is an older set from Japan, which I think is called the Kindergarten Sheep Baby Duo. It was first released in 2005, but has been available for quite a while since then. And I think this is the second edition, as the girl has a very slightly different skirt pattern to the first one. The box has a protective plastic bag layer on the outside, so first of all, I'll take that off. And on the back of the box is just safety information. Then it's just a case of cutting the tape and getting them out. Here are the babies up close. They're strapped into the cardboard, which has a cute little garden scene with blue cloudy skies and tulips on the horizon. Okay, I'll get them out now. Just got to get the elastic band from under their bags. And here they are. What a pair of cuties. I'll take off this bag to get a better look at her uniform. It's a pink houndstooth pattern skirt and a navy blue top. I like the gold bead buttons and white collar. It looks very smart and like a uniform. That's what the skirt looks like from the back. And you can see this is the old style of babies, which don't have movable limbs. I think she is very cute. Taking a look at the bag, there's some very strong velcro, but it can be opened up. And the main part is blue felt material with an elastic strap that goes back on. And here is the second sheep who is just as cute as his sister. It's the same bag and navy top, I think, but instead he has a pair of navy tartan trousers. They are actual trousers with two leg holes. They're a little baggy, but have elastic straps to keep them up under his top. I really like the colours in this tartan. So I'll pop his bag back around him. And here they are together again. I think these two will look good in maybe my nursery school setup. They'll be much smarter than the rest of the babies, but I think we'll fit in fine. It would have been cute if the skirt and trousers were the same pattern. But equally, I do like the variety of patterns. And I do prefer the figures nowadays, which are slightly more poseable. So here's the current version of Emma Dale. Their faces are slightly different. I think the older style on the right has deeper set eyes and perhaps a slightly wider face. Maybe a different colour too. But anyway, here are those three little sheepy siblings. Okay, moving on, next is an individual baby. This is the Chihuahua baby, Jalinda Lopez, and she is the current single type. I bought her on Amazon for £7.99. I'm sure you've seen this type of packaging before, with all the warnings on the back, so I won't spend too long on that and just get her out. Got a catalogue as usual. And here is Jalinda in a hot pink romper. 
Originally, the female chihuahuas in this family didn't have any face markings, but this is a later version with the markings. And as with the newer individual babies, there is a little crossbody bag. This is pastel yellow and made out of a rubbery plastic. You probably couldn't fit much in there, but it opens and shuts with a peg. And the hat is pale pink plastic with blue elastic strap. I like the moulded detail on the top of these. Chihuahuas are famously small dogs, and Sylvanian families continued this characteristic by making the figures slightly smaller. So here's Emma Dale again as a comparison. Side by side, the top of Jolinda's head is below Emma's. And back to back, the height difference is more obvious. I believe this is carried through to the other members of the Lopez family, but I only own the babies. These bags have to go over the figure's legs, so doing that. And I found the house too big. I pulled the elastic through a bit, which seemed to help. But as you can tell, it didn't stay like that for long. Aside from that, I really like this figure. Her height makes her extra adorable, as does the bag that's almost the same size as her head. Next is a trio I've had for ages and just never got round to opening, so when better to do that than now. So these are the Veggie Babies trio, who were originally sold as part of the 35th anniversary releases in Japan back in 2020, but were re-released as limited edition the following year. Out of the plastic bag, the packaging is nice and vibrant and it's just safety information on the back. So let's get this opened. And getting the babies out. Just taking a close look at the packaging, there are parts of Amusement Land with vegetable illustrations on the front. Then these are the three babies in the set. They all look very cute in vegetable themed costumes. First up is Beaver Baby, Ethan Woodbrook, who is dressed as an aubergine. His outfit is comprised of two pieces, with the head part able to be taken off. It's got a bit of elastic as a chin strap. The costume is more of a lilac-y colour, so it's a little lighter than a natural aubergine, and I like the flower on the front. It velcros at the back, so it's easy to take on and off. Other than the colour, this headpiece is really well done. The shape and green leaf part makes the costume very clear. It is a little tricky to put the headpiece on, but I love the way Ethan's face peeks out once it's in place. The next figure in this set is Albert Marshmallow the Mouse Baby. His outfit is tomato themed, mainly from the teeny hats on his ears. The tunic is in this cute red and white check fabric. It velcros at the back too. These little hats just slide on and off pretty easily, covering those little hearts in his ears. There are some indentations left from the elastic, so I'll put the hats back on for now, but not indefinitely. And the final figure in this set is Henry Periwinkle. His outfit is based on a yellow bell pepper and seems more like an actual costume rather than just inspired by a pepper. It undoes with velcro at the back. And if I manage to get the hat off... There, he has an indentation from the hat too, which is slightly more noticeable than Albert's. The hat is the same yellow fabric as the main outfit, 
with green felt and ribbon stalk. It's elasticated all the way around and has holes for the ears. So I'll put that back on. And here is the trio all together. I really like this theme. There's lots of fruit themed costumes in Sylvanian families, but not as many vegetables. I could see other costumes like a carrot or a pea pod being fun to make too. Okay, so keeping on the food theme, the next babies are the Ice Cream Sundays Baby Duo. These were released due to coming second in the 35th anniversary baby costume contest held in 2020. The duo came out in 2022 in Japan and earlier this year in the UK. The penguin's hat is covering his face a little, so I best get them out to help him. is similar to other baby duos, with safety information on the back. This background card has an amusement park scene, but it's slightly different to the veggie babies one. And the pop-ups on the front are a sign like you'd see outside of an ice cream shop and also an ice cream cone. So here are the two babies. Their outfits are similar but in different colours and with differing style of ice cream headpieces. I like the pastel colours and the two babies they used for this pairing. Okay, so first we have cat baby Alfie Maple who's dressed as a lilac soft serve type of ice cream. I'll take the headpiece off to get a better look at Alfie. His outfit is pink check with a beige felt collar and triangle to look like an ice cream cone. I like the orange colour of the maple cats and their funny little flat ears, but they do have a slightly rougher head texture. So bringing back the hat, it's elasticated all the way down to fit around the baby's head. There are a few beads on top to look like sprinkles, which is a nice extra, though I don't like that the knots are visible on the back. The neck part is pretty small. I'll put his headpiece back on. It's quite a tight fit, so a bit difficult. And then just straighten it up. Ta-da! Okay, so let's look at the second baby, which is Kippy Waddle from the newish Waddle Penguin family. He is dressed as a slightly different type of ice cream, and it looks more like scoops rather than soft serve. His outfit opens to the back like Alfie's, though I think it's a little tight as there are imprints from the Velcro on his back. Kippy's headpiece comes off a lot more easily. But here is a closer look at him. I love his sweet little face. And here is the ice cream scoops headpiece again. It's two round pieces in pink and mint green and again has some bee sprinkles too. So let's put that back on. And tucking it under his outfit. Perfect. Alfie's outfit is similar to the ice cream cube. These trio. I don't own these so can't compare them directly. It could be fun to have them all together but for now I've just got these two. And the next babies to unbox are the Persian cat triplets. I can't believe I only just own these. I think I own the figures individually from various sets but thought I would get the original ones too. They're just in the basic packaging with no pictures on the back. So best move on to opening them.
Okay, so firstly we have the Triplets storybook, which is called The Triplets Favourite Thing. These stories are always really cute. With lots of pictures. The baby's names are on the back, which all begin with the letter B. And here are the main event. They're in a cradle and some clear plastic to stop them rolling around. Oops, poor Blake just fell out. And getting the cradle out. So here are the three Persian newborns. They were first released in 2019, and I think they were the second of the newborns released after the marshmallow mice. So first up in yellow is newborn girl Blair. She has white fur, and I love her tiny pink nose and inner ears. Next is a grey baby, which is Blake Persian. Despite being a different colour, they are the same family. His blue wrap goes perfectly with his fur, but the pink details are slightly harder to see. And finally in pink is Brianna Persian. Like Claire, she has white fur too. The cradle that comes with the babies is pink and with a lovely wicker design all over. Then underneath there are two smooth pieces. So the cradle can rock like this, which doesn't seem that gentle for the babies. I put them in the cradle, first Blair, then Blake, and Brianna. A perfect fit. Oh, they're adorable all together. And the final set I'm unboxing today is this, the Fairy Tale Friends. These were also first released in 2020 for the 35th anniversary in Japan, and I'll take the bag off to get a better look at the figures. This is a set of seven baby figures in cute uniforms and pointed hats. I think they're inspired by the seven dwarfs from Snow White, but this isn't explicitly said anywhere. There are babies from some lesser used or retired families in this, so I'm excited to add these to my collection. As always with this type of packaging, there's written safety information on the back of the box. And here is a closer look at those seven babies in the packaging. I love that they're all dressed in different colours, and the tiny pom-poms on their hat are adorable. packaging is the same as some of the other sets I've opened today, particularly the Ice Cream Sundays Baby Duo. This packaging is basically an extended version of the same scene. And here are those babies again, albeit in a slightly different order to how they were packaged. I'll try and go through them all fairly quickly. So first up in green is Elephant Baby Hilton Bubblebrook. I love the elephant figures. Their fur is an almost bluish grey, is much lighter than the older elephants. The elastic from his hat has left a mark on his face that's quite noticeable, so I'm going to take his hat off and see if I can make it look better. The outfit is in two pieces, with a top velcroed at the back, and his bottoms are a tube, perhaps meant to look like shorts. Anyway, Hilton looks very sweet. Next is a figure we haven't seen in a while, and that is Klopp Fielding, the field mouse baby. His hat and top are pale blue, but otherwise the same as the rest. The gold beads look very smart with this colour. His hat just fits over his round ear, but I'll take it off for now to match Hilton. These mice have lovely colouring, and I've just bought the rest of the Fielding family on eBay. Thirdly, dressed in purple, is a red deer baby. The description says this is Oscar Buckley, but this baby has hearts in their ears, which is only seen in the female figures. Like Klopp, the hat fits over her ear, and I think this purple is a nice shade.
The next baby is one I don't already own, and that is Korean cat baby Larkin Keats. She wears a dark pink outfit and is very cute. I really like the colouring of this family too, and that all the family are named after poets, in this case Philip Larkin. I can't believe there's only one rabbit in this set, and even more that it's a Wildwood brown rabbit baby. So this is Juniper Wildwood, looking very festive in red, it's like a mini Santa outfit. Though again, the elastic strap has left a mark. The Wildwoods were one of the original families when Sylvanians were first launched, and I love Juniper's happy little smile. The sixth figure in the set is Adelaide the Koala wearing orange. I think there have been three koala families over the years, but Adelaide is from the Outback family, which have yellow inside their ears. I did think my hat could fit over her ear, but they're bigger than they seem. I think the orange looks lovely on her. And to finish it set off, the last baby is Pumpkin Mulberry from the White Raccoon family. She is in a pale yellow outfit, which isn't my favourite, but I'm glad to finally own another figure from this family. The Mulberries were first released in 1995 and look similar to the Robinson Red Pandas. And those are all the babies in this set. I like their uniforms and there's a little group of them. They could be performing in a show or something. The babies from Lassie's families are also a lovely inclusion, particularly the Fielding, Wildwoods and Mulberry ones. I probably won't be putting their hats back on for the moment, but I'll keep them safe for now. And to finish, I'll bring back all the babies I've unboxed in this video. I think these four are my favourites, the two kindergarten sheep and Clop and Pumpkin from the fairy tale friends, and all their outfits actually look quite similar to one another. But with that, thank you for watching this video, especially as it's a long one. If you like Sylvanian families, then subscribe to my channel, as I post videos like this and Sylvanian news every week.